Okay, real quick here. Uh, my previous video where I talked about seeing through the eyes of John 14, 15, making that your filter. Um, I did say get out of the Old Testament. I don't mean avoid it or throw it out, tear it out of your Bible or nothing like that. It's very important. Okay, the entire book, the 66, very important. It's all there for a reason. <clears throat> but what if, if, if I were just stepping into this, <clears throat> I would read John 14, 15, and 16 a whole bunch. Okay? For a week, maybe two, something like that. And own it. Um, then I would venture out, you know, read the rest of John, maybe read the rest of the Gospels after that, maybe go to the book of Acts, read the epistles, um, and then go read read the whole Bible over again, read, read the Old Testament or whatever the case. Like I said, I'm not saying ignore the Old Testament or, or avoid it or anything like that. I would just get solid in this one thing first, this creating the, the filter, I'll call it, that's reading things through the through the filter of John fourteen fifteen. We're being led by the Spirit. We have an entity, something living within us, driving us, uh, uh, helping us make these decisions, helping us to avoid this, follow that, uh, getting our revelation, this kind of thing. I'd be focusing on that because it makes when you when you read from that point of view, from that perspective, all these other things make more sense. Okay, you can go into the Old Testament and go. Ooh, that's a contradiction. No, they're just in a different time, under a different situation. We haven't got Jesus and the Holy Spirit yet. He has not done his thing, and then released, poured the Holy Spirit down upon us. So, it's it's we're in a way better position now than they were. Old Covenant, New Covenant. Um, so, it's, it's if you look at it through the eyes of John 14, 15, and you go back and, and read these things, it makes more sense. Okay? Now, I'm not telling people, well, don't read the Old Testament. It probably sounded like that. That's not what I meant. Uh, but you want to change your point of view. You want to change your perspective. Okay? Even if you're just, I don't know if the seller guy's got his, he might be off his nut or whatever. But I'll try this. I'll see what this is. You could just be window shopping, whatever the case is. But if you look at the rest of the Bible, the rest of people speaking at you, what you hear, what you see, from that perspective, John 14, 15, things are far more clear, far more transparent, far more black and white. Um, there are things that go on in the Old Testament that are quite contradictory to almost all of Jesus' teachings. Why is that? Okay, I'm not going to tell you why. It's a di two, different, two different things are going on. Uh, but wouldn't you rather be led by the Spirit? Or at least from that perspective to know that, hey, I'm not understanding this. Um, you know, doing my part, meeting the conditions here, and doing the best that I can. And I'm, I need this indwelling of the Holy Spirit to explain these things to me. These things start to come together because now you're using this thing. You're, you're using this tool that we have. You're exercising your faith in such a way. Um, and that pays dividends. Um, so it's not about, hey, don't don't use the Old Testament. It's But you'll also, you'll, you'll be able to see now when you go back to the Bible and things, well, you know, the atheists are always throwing these things at you. Well, there's contradictions in the Bible. Well, yeah, there is. If you look at it as a... Um, if you don't understand, there's different things going on. Different things at different times. It's called context. Uh, there's things that Jesus is asking us to do, commanding us to do, I'm sorry, commanding us to do, that might have been allowed in the Old Testament. Might have been required. He's not asking us that. You run a whole different program. Okay. Not saying it's, I don't want to say easier or, or like that, but it's different. It's a different deal. Um, so if you, I see a lot of these influencers, people on YouTube, using a lot of Old Testament and blending it with a little bit of Jesus, and now all that gets muddled, all that gets messed up. Well, because now when that person walks away from that influencer and has that information and actually goes to sit down and read that Bible on his own, it makes no sense. It's just confusing. Well, wait a minute. What? Okay, you know, who, who I follow here? Well, not me, not the influencer. John 14, 15. See, so when you read, when you read anything, if you're reading anything in the book, from that perspective, 
you're going to have a much clearer picture. You're also going to get results. Okay, I'll just put it that way. You're going to get results. Because now you're following what the Bible is telling you. And not some person like me on YouTube or whatever the case is. So it's not about, oh, stay away from the Old Testament. But if you've been locked into one of these groups or these people that do all that, well, I would say stay away from the Old Testament for now. Stay away from the Old Testament and all that stuff temporarily until you get a hold of John 14, 15. Then go in and, and read the rest of John. Then read the Gospels. Read the book of Acts. And with that perspective, don't read anything. I mean, before I read anything, I would go read John 14, 15 every time before I started something new in the book. Pound that thing into the head and then it gets into the heart. So that that's my focus. It's not it's not about, okay, avoid the Old Testament. Okay, or stay, you know, get rid of the Old Testament. That's not what I'm saying. It, it has its place. It's very important, especially historically. Um, but if you want to get down to what applies to you, the application, hey, come on. Uh, so it's, it's just, there's so much of this where I see them muddling, you know, putting these things together. You got a whole bunch of old Testament, a little bit of Jesus over here and there, this and that people that do that tend to tend to be they're, they're being led by their brain, not the spirit. You trust me on this one. Cause once you understand what I'm, I'm talking about, you'll see these people talking and right off the bat, you go, they're going there. Why are they going there? And that's not, it's not necessary. You don't have to be over there. It's not necessary. <laughs> Uh, um, so hopefully that makes sense. I'm not saying get rid of the Old Testament. I'm saying stay out of it temporarily while you focus on John 14, 15, and then the, the New Testament. Get this concept down. Then you start looking at everything entirely different. Um, I wished I had done this 15 years ago, or if I had known this. I didn't. So for, for me, it was I've gone through every, chased every rabbit, down every rabbit hole through these wild goose chases and everything else i i followed the hebrew roots um it just because it it it's so logical what these people are saying and it's all just worldly wisdom and well this because of this because this is like that and we don't do this anyone mm -mm. you don't be led by them you don't be led by this thing it gets you nowhere okay so if you focus on the being led by the spirit as it states in john 14 15 um you can't miss because now it's not entirely up to you. You're being helped. So so ask yourself, how, how often have you been reading the book, trying to figure it out on your own? You're doing it all by yourself. Trying to this. I don't understand that. It ain't supposed to be like that. That's what, the, that's what he's telling you in John. It ain't supposed to be like that. Come on. We're walk, I'm going to walk with you. We're going to go through this thing together. Why would I not want that? Yeah, but what about that thing then, Josh? Dude, sit. Take a breath. You don't do this alone. You can't do it alone. It's not possible. And the book tells you that. All right. Read John 14, 15. Own it. Focus on that for a long time. Go from there using that as your filter for everything else. I don't care if it's the nightly news, uh, the Bible, whatever. And you'll start picking things up like that. This guy's off track can't follow that. I wish him the best. You can see where who's being led by what. Love you. God bless.